Yeah, so uh, welcome to the next vlog. We're going to do some recordings today. Um, we've got a few bits going on, namely sterlift repairs that are going on today. We have a set of batteries we need to bring back to life as well. Basically, they're lithium batteries for a sterlift and there's zero volts in them. Before I let you go to watch, these are the batteries that we're going to try and bring back to life. A lot of today is going to be in the GoPro, so uh, yeah, you will see POV view of my life today. Excuse the mess in here. Um, it is a bit on the messy side, it needs a good clean up and we're going to do that this weekend. So what I was talking about a minute ago there is lithium batteries. There's a brand of stairlift out there called Acorn, it's a curved stairlift. And due to the way they're made, they're better suited with a lithium battery pack. Um, currently these are dead as a dodo and we're going to bring them back to life. So, what we're going to do is we'll charge the blue one up first, not that it matters. Red wire, we definitely don't want to mix them up because we're properly screwed in. And let's charge them. Let's just be certain. I'm looking at the multimeter elsewhere here. 33 volts, okay. We don't have good mirrors, unfortunately. Two volts, that's them. Same with them, they're a bit lower. Unfortunately, the customer's got to buy batteries for their stair lift, so we're doing a quote for them now. Well, as you can see there, we had no luck bringing them back up. They're gone, gone. to another job now in a few minutes. It's a stair lift issue. Um, we have to basically see what's going on with it because I actually forget. Um, so look, once the customer is happy with us recording and all of that, then I'll bring you in with me. So if you, if you see this video, it means you'll, you'll see me inside in a few minutes. Right, so the customer's letting us record. So it hasn't been used in a few years. Oh, I'm dropping everything. It hasn't been used in a few years, so I was suspecting it's batteries. The power supply is turned off as well. So let's get a set of batteries out. Washer fluid leaked around the whole car, so... <laughs> oh my god, lad. Ah, no worries at all. Sure, look, if you're having one, I'll have one. Just plenty of milk and two sugars. Thanks for that. <laughs> right. Okay. Now this is off. So we should get true reading from this. Eight, eight. Right, I fully charged. No disservice. The first thing, if anything goes. Fuse is blown. 
Okay, same rain. Oh crap, there's a wasp. Get out. Right, let's try this here and see what happens. We got power. These biscuits and all. <laughs> Thanks a million. Okay, we're done in there. That was fairly straightforward. Basically, it was a uh, it was a blown fuse on the board. Now, what we've done is we've left a note there that we've covered that repair for sixty days because there's a reason why that flew, that fuse blue now my kind of theory on it is someone attempted to change the batteries because the batteries are like new on that stair lift like there was no benefit of me taking out them batteries and putting in my ones that was how incredible they were and they have been disconnected from the power supply um, for quite a period as well so I reckon someone shorted something along the way it's only a, a 500 milliamp or a half an amp fuse so it's nothing serious but it is on the main circuit board now, we won't put in a stronger fuse or a bigger fuse, we'll put in the standard fuse that came with it because that's what it's designed for. And we've said to the customer, if it's something serious that caused that and it reoccurs when we're not there, then we'll actually credit today towards that job. Because if it is something serious, it's definitely not gonna fall within today's rate. Gave me a lovely 20 euro tip as well. It's a regular thing we see um, and it's just, they don't have to do it. You know, we're expensive as it is and it's just nice to see that. So yeah. Um, we're going to another job now, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Um, the issue we're fixing today on this job is it's a Stana 260 stair lift. It's stopping on the way up, but not stopping on the way down. Now, that's either going to be, I think it's, I forget the name, is it Octo something or Octo something? It's a weird sensor. But basically, it can either be that sensor that's gone, but then she's saying it's happening on the way up, so it probably is batteries. Look, I know in a few minutes. Change the batteries first. See where we end up. But look, regardless, it needs batteries anyway. Because yeah. yes, it's going, it's going a bit too low. It's going very slow, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was this no, maybe could be the yeah. case. Because I, uh, I think today. It's today. It's a bit warm today, so it would. Yeah, oh, it's great, isn't it? Have the sunshine. Yeah. You can get out and about. You hear everyone complaining about the sun, and then. Oh, if it's raining, I can play with the rain. If it's snowing, <laughs> if it's really deep, we're never satisfied. <laughs> never satisfied. Yeah, it's working. Hold well on. Battery. Battery. Yeah, I'll tell you a funny one. I just noticed this now. What? You notice anything with these? Two different manufacturers. 
Oh. So I ever changed the battery last time? Only changed one. They're 2016. I think they could be 2018. Oh my gosh, so there's only one battery. So it was really only working like one battery and then it was drained or whatever. Yeah, because always the, it goes off of the worst battery. So okay, yeah. You see, lads, and you change the battery, and it's like the bad one's still going to kill it. Like, Jesus, um, right, okay, so 2016, 2018. Yeah. Two batteries. So Which is like. Problem yeah it's not good yeah so that was a successful repair there just needed batteries we were suspicious of there's is it called an rmu or something i forget what it's called but it's this little wheel that runs up with the stair lift that the stair lift knows it's rotating basically as it's going upstairs and if it doesn't detect that movement it'll cut off every foot but to be honest with you after a bit of chatting we figured out it was batteries it actually turned out that there was only one battery that was changed not two so that would accelerate a battery change again um so yeah we've changed the batteries had a little look through the lift you know nothing major it's a bit squeaky advisor on that the rail is actually spotless and it's like squeaky clean is is, is nearly the issue but anyway job done off to the next one and i'll see you on the next one all right it's uh it's an over speed gun there is gone so uh let's see what is going on with it How long you had the, had the job, uh, This is my first one. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, on and off, I like probably 10 years on and off. Oh, yeah. Started cleaning the wheelchairs and moving our way up to, you know. Oh, yeah. I took a break a few years ago, do a bit of the online stuff, and ah, I didn't like it, so. Oh, uh, honest to God, it's, it's the best job in the world. And you get paid for it, it's brilliant. Help, help, help people and young ones to the exactly. Yeah. And we like fixing stuff, so. That's good. Some companies like writing stuff off, but no, we're. They do, yeah. It's, there's more in repairs than there is in breaking. That's the snag today. Oh. What's that? That's the snag today with a lot of things. Don't fix it, get rid of it, buy a new thing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. There we go. I'll basically the over speed governor in here. That part here. So it's rotating here. It's going up and down stairs, but if it engages fully, it depresses that switch. And that's when we get the stair to form work. So I'll bypass the front rest. Temporarily, just to see. So the batteries are dead. And batteries are gone. Has it been on the stairs for long? Like stuck? Yeah. Saturday. 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 Were you going up or down when it happened? Up. Heading up. Were you? Yeah. And has it been stopping recently when going upstairs? No. Well, the batteries are shagged. That's one of the issues. Huh? Batteries are gone. I'm, I'm literally, I'm getting. It's supposed to be 24 volts, but the second I go to go up, it's going down to 14. Oh. So there's something taking the power, but look, they're included. So I'll get another set out of the car. Two seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, Sunday, the old dubs took you out, didn't they? What's that? At the football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. Okay, set the batteries. Let's see what happens. Fucking 
Oh, ich die Kick denn, Digga. Das ist ein Handrinder upstairs. Hey, the missing spring. Did you see anything fall out of it in the last couple of days or anything? Any kind of little spring? If you didn't know, it's no problem. I wouldn't. It's, it's probably so small. You wouldn't even. Ah, found it. Oh, that spring is missing. Don't break. All right, that looks like it's working. Can I borrow you for one sec? I just want to show you something. The Sterler company put this in, did they? The clothes that it was bought of. Right. You see this here? That's 240 volts lying here. Right. That Sterler gets on that. Someone's getting fried. So they should have tacked that in. Like that. The funny thing is you could do everything else wrong, but that's the thing that'll kill someone. You know, especially that it's near the track as well. So I'm going to tack that if you're okay with that. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's working fine. It's lying up. I see what you mean. If the, if the yeah. rail catch that. Oh yeah. Like oh, bang. Happen. Now the part that actually went was this part here. That's your overspeed governor. So as you're going downstairs, that's moving left and right and left and right. And if it goes too far, that's when it hits the switch and won't move anymore, you know? Right. And there's a tiny little spring. You probably won't see it. It's under the motor there, but you might not be able to see it from here. It's ridiculous anyway. Yeah. It's ridiculously tiny. Too finicky. But yeah, that's back in. Two new batteries. They needed them. Um, and uh, yeah, it's done. And the other thing is, uh, Ricky, yeah. when they gave this, they never give a, a thing to wind it down. See? You don't get one. Don't you? It's a screwdriver. It's a standard screwdriver head. The next question. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> right, lads, I think that's all for today. Um, until the next video. And we'll see you then. Put a sticker on this, and I'm going home, lads. Lads and ladies. But yeah, that's it for today. Have a good one. And don't forget to like and subscribe.